Good YouTube and everybody. Thanks for stopping by and visiting the channel. What we're going to talk about is Apocalypse from X-Men Uncanny. And it's also by Hasbro. We're going to go over the figure. We're going to look at the figure up close. We're going to check out the articulation. We're also going to give a measurement. Then we're also going to put some figures up to it to scale it up with other figures to see what it looks like scaled up to big figures and small figures. Then at the end of the video, we're going to show you some pictures we took and that way you can see what it looks like in some poses with all of his accessories. So right now, we're gonna roll him off the stand and let's go ahead and give him that measure. Okay, we're breaking out that stick. Okay, it looks like on the inches side, he'll be right at eight inches. And we'll go ahead and flip it over to the centimeter. If he's at eight inches, he'll be right at 20 centimeters. That's where he's at, that's where he's standing, and that's what we're working with today. Okay, here we are, scaling him up. Got Apocalypse right there. You got a little bitty rogue beside him. Go ahead and throw some Magneto. And of course, you, I gotta throw him in there because he scales so well. And this big guy is one of my favorite figures. And here he is. Big Juggernaut. He's so big that he hits the ground. Boom. And he knocks over <laughs> the other figures. <laughs> that's, that's how big he is. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> He'll stand you back up. <laughs> well, that's how he looks. Scaled up. With, you know, the Juggernaut, which is a, a great figure. Scales real good with other figures. And you got the other Hasbro figures here scaled up with them. That's what I got for you for, for right now. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into the accessories. We're going to start off with the first, well, like second, first head, whatever head you want to call it. He's got one on his head now, so this will be the second head. Okay. Here we are. Great sculpt. Not bad. Looks just like him. I think it does. I think it looks, clearly it looks just like him. Okay, not bad on that. Okay, nice accessories. We'll get to looking at a little more during the, uh, during the articulation. There you have it. Nice. Okay, and he has two additional hands. As you can see what he has right now, standing up, he has two ball fists. All right, and here's his second, well, third hand. Okay. Nice detail. Very hard plastic. I like that. Very, very sturdy plastic on this guy. Just like if you don't know about the Juggernaut, the Juggernaut, big Juggernaut figure I had out there posing up with him. That's that's one strong character, too. And here's the other hand. Number four. <laughs> All right, there it is. I got it pretty good. That's nice. Not bad. Can't complain on that. Right on. Okay, now we're going to go for his gun, his blaster. I'm not sure what they call it. If anybody knows in the comment section, please let me know so I can correct myself during this. But I'm going to take off the fire part. Well, yeah, let me do that so I can show you where they go. Okay, so here's here's his, his huge gun that sticks on his arm or creates on his arm. You know how he does it. It's, it's Apocalypse. Here it goes. All right, nice. Just a big bulky plastic with some round purple and some holes in it. Got a little, it's got, a, it's got some sloppy yellow paint on there. You see it? Yep. Very sloppy. That is not a, that's not that great. <laughs> but that's the figure for you. Okay. And those holes have additional spots for flame or fire effects, but you only have three of them, but there's four holes. So you choose what your fire effects want to be. I'm going to show you that right now. I'm sticking the small ones in the small holes. That's two of them we have. And then I'm going to stick the big one in one of the big holes. Because we only got one big one. So let's go with the one at the bottom. All right. And this is how it looks. Nice. Got the big fire effect. And you have the two small ones here. The fire effects. So it makes more sense to put the big one in the middle at the bottom. So they won't be in the way of the two on the top. See there? Looks good to me. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the figure up close. Now, you know, we can't check the figure up up close because <laughs> why, why would I do that when I still have accessories left over? I'm getting ahead of myself, rushing myself, and I need to slow down. So here are the other parts of him, which it's, it's what he's known for, too. One, here we go. There they are. When you see Apocalypse, you see these. They do things. 
and he has two of these. That's one of them. And the second one looks exactly the same. So it's not any different. Like, how do you hook them on? The way you hook them on? I don't know because he has multiple holes in his body. So I guess it's your choice on how you put these in his body because he has holes everywhere for them. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the figure up close. Like I said, tough, bulky. And this thing about this being so tough and bulky, it's gonna make it a lot easier to do poses and standing them up. It's not gonna be hard because he's, because he's so bulky and it's, it's gonna be easy to make poses with him, which is really good. And that's what I like about the figure so much. So as soon as I pulled him out the box, I knew that he would be an easy figure to pose with because he's so heavy and he just it just works. Good job. Okay, face looked great. We already know. We checked out. Well, we checked the other face out. Look at that. Looking good, huh? You guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this figure appearance-wise. Let me, let me know something. You like it? You don't like it? Would you burn it? <laughs> let me know. Okay. Got his big A. Nice hard plastic. That's hard stuff right there. Bulky, bulky. Okay, look at the back. There goes the holes I'm talking about. You got holes there. Not much on the color. It's uh, purple and bluish purple, I guess. I would say that's a regular blue, dark blue, but that's that's what I say. And there goes holes right there on the side. <laughs> got holes there. You got holes on the inside of his legs. Yeah. Yeah. Arms. Not bad. Big boots. Big guy. Okay. And uh, that's it on the appearance wise. Let me know what you guys think. All right. So let's go ahead and step into that articulation. We're going to go with the head first. The head, of course, it should be good because of the fact that you know it has separate heads. So. Being that, being able to be, put another head on should make the head movement very good. So let's do that. Side to side inside of this guard here, where a helmet would go. You get your most, you get your limited stuff right there, but it's still great. But if you come up a little bit, then you can bring it out. You see, bring bring his head out out the out the uh, suit there, and he can go all the way around because it's on a ball point, as you can see, and it's a latch ball point. See there, so that makes it. Makes it fairly good to, to to do his head like that, especially with his head being knocked in the suit like that. That's really that's really good. I like that a lot. I'm I'm 100 on that. So the head movement, no, there's no limitations unless you're swiveling around the, inside the the suit there. Okay, we go for the back. Nothing there but some hard plastic. Let's go to the arm. So the arm has a huge latch. There you go, and that's as far as that. That latch goes. I don't know if it's the armor in the way. Seems like it could be, but that's as far as you're gonna get that latch up. That's it on the latch. Your bicep swivel is there. Oh yeah. And then you have your latch in your arm. Simple, one simple latch. Doesn't go in more than that. Just at an almost a, a little under an, a 90 degree. And there you go like that. That's just all, that's all you're gonna get on that. And some more holes. <laughs> holy, holy guy, right? Okay, and then your hands come off. Easy, easy, easy. Just push in and it clicks. Not bad on that either. And they rotate, of course. The hands do rotate. So there's not a lot of... There's not a lot of crazy articulation for this big guy. But it's enough for this figure. Alright, he's got his crunch. he got click crunches. Click, click. And he's got his outer crunch. I'm really digging that. Nice. Okay, so let's go down to the legs. All right, legs looking good. So your leg comes to a fly here. I think it's on a little one hinge. You can see it. That's it. And they have a, uh, a thigh swivel. All right. And I'm sure this thing goes all the way around. Yes, yes, it does. Oh. <laughs> it, 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 it does go all the way around inside, but it just doesn't need to be. And I'm glad they got this kind of connection that just pops right in. That's, that's good, good stuff. We like that. 
So the leg does swivel around, but it, it just hits stuff and comes apart. You don't, I don't think that you need to be swiveling a, a leg all the way around. That's uh, that's some gymnastic things that I don't think he was taught. Okay, so let's go to his leg here. His knee bends in and actually bends in all the way. Huh. So they put the double hinge there, huh? Okay. All right. Nice down on, on the knee. They had to click. Had to, yeah, had a nice latch there for that knee. Yeah. Goes all the way like that. Okay. Nice. And it goes all the way to the back. Okay. I guess he's ready to play some soccer then. Okay. Then let's go to the feet. The feet rotate on a ball. They're on a ball. And they go all the way up. And they go all the way down. And there's no pivot in the toe. <laughs> yes. So that's that's it on the articulation. Not not a bad gig. I like it. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna give this figure. I'm gonna give this figure a four out of five. I like it. It's just that his limit he's limited in a lot of places in the articulation, but everything else is amazing. The character looks good, his accessories look good, especially for the price point. I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think. I'm giving it a four out of five. Let me know yours. Okay, so here's the box. Like I said before in my videos, the box, he's packed away very nicely. But what I don't like about these boxes, they once you once you cut them open, they're finished. That's why I call these boxes a one and done box. Because once you open them up, they're finished. I don't care how you do it, how you open it. Once you do it, you try to put the figure back in. It looks messy. looks terrible. I think they need to take an accountability of other toy companies out there that put their figures in nice boxes that you can open and close because i think that's that's worth it when you're buying these figures to keep them protected but so anyway let's go over this box and check it out so he's packed in nicely we do know that you got some artwork on the top here it says x-men and it says uncandy let's go ahead and tilt it up so you can see it right got it right there you got rogue wolverine gambit storm there comics all right and then you got some artwork on the side here got him in his little pose you got Marvel's Apocalypse right there, and you have the Hasbro logo. Let's cut it around to the back. Not too much on the back there. You got him posed up as the figure itself in a little pose there. X-Men Uncandy on top. Lean the camera. There you go. And then you have a lot of sayings right here that I'm going to put to the camera kind of close so you can pause it because I know for a fact you guys like to read this. And when you get done reading everything on here, let me know. Put something in the comments about it. But guys, that is the one and done box. And of course, I got it from Big Bad Toy Store. I was thinking there, there wasn't that many of these guys, so I, I, I wanted them shipped good. So if you're looking for this guy at Big Bad Toy Store, don't worry. Don't have to search. Just go look at the description, and the link is down below. Check them out, guys. BigBadToyStore.com And this brings us to the end of our video. If you found the video informational or you just simply enjoyed watching, please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. And as always, this has been another tour review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.